You're watching Fishmonger Jim. Nice. Well, howdy, y'all. This is a uh, well, straight bass fillet session 2020. December? No, yeah. November. It's November. 2022. Got these two fish on the Miss Margaret Light. Oh, I don't know, a couple days ago now. Yeah, a couple days ago. I've been uh, cutting fish at work and didn't have time to cut these until now. So that's what we're up to now. Okay, we are going to see sort of how quickly we can do this without making a huge mess. With the uh, serrated knife is kind of a, in my estimation, it's kind of imperative. And without making a mess means not cutting through the belly cavity, which uh, I find important to uh, ensure the the quality of the the meat. You know, you gotta have a certain level of quality for, in my estimation, anyway. Cutting through the belly cavity is no good at all. You get all that bile in there, and you know nastier stuff than bile no good no good at all there we go Not too bag and then the second side we cut in with the serrated knife through this through the scales and then you switch to your then you switch to well, then you switch to your your flexible fillet knife and you go inside out just through the skin kind of sort of like that right and then you come in or the other direction right? without missing any meat too Jim and then To the serrated knife to cut through the pin, uh, cut through the pin bones, lay the root bones down, and out the other side. Oh, and we, we are going to be keeping the the skin intact so that we can make leather with it. In fact, all this fish is going to be given away. I might have one meal out of it, but all the rest I'm going to just give away for uh, other people to enjoy. As uh, I just need the skin. That's it. And we will probably take the uh, the wings off of this too. Not too bad. I did bleed these out. I'm surprised there's that much blood left in that one. To be honest with you. I guess we go ahead and finish this one up before we fill the other. Trim the belly lining. Right down like that. I will put that aside. And then. Well, I do need to scale these to tan them, but we will just go ahead and scale them after so that we don't risk cutting through the skin at all. Nice, nice. And um, yeah, we'll just um, make a room for both of these fillets over here. and cut the dark meat out of these. I'll, uh, I'll show you that when the time comes. I just want to real quick get these sides off of here. Off of both of these fish and then we'll go back and work them a little bit further. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, am I recording? Uh, 3 minutes 45 seconds. I think that was 3 minutes 45 seconds. Let's see if we can do this one that fast too, eh? And behind the fin up towards the head, a lot of meat up there, that way right there. And then turn the knife around, out the other side without cutting through the belly cavity, in through the scales, down to the tails, like that.
Nice. Oh, missed a little bit right there. <sighs> oh. Oh, fuck. Got him that time. Spike. Come on, buddy. Calm it down. You're gonna be all right. Oh. Prick. All right. So that is a beautiful fillet. This is off of a uh, one of the uh, what do they call them the um, tagged fish tagged fish bonus tag yeah bonus tagged fish that's what it is so the dark meat that's what we're gonna deal with next there's a number of ways you can go about uh, eliminating it um, yeah where's my other oh that's rusty. It's not good. Number of ways you can go about eliminating the dark meat. I'll show you the, uh, I don't know, potentially the, maybe the, I don't know, I want to say easiest. It's not necessarily easy, but it's um, maybe one of the most logical ways. 
uh, which is just this. You just trim it off, right? I mean, that's what we're going to be doing with the uh, the second method, which is a little bit easier, I think. You know, you just start at the edge and peel it back. I mean, it's not it's not fast. This is not a fast method. The other one that I'm going to show you is. Uh, I don't know, maybe more tedious. It's, it, they're both really tedious, to be clear, but maybe a little bit faster, a little bit less waste. You know, because this is uh, just kind of guesswork with um, regards to depth. The other one, you get a clear indication of, of where the knife should go. I can't believe Bob, that's Bob the fly that just, that's my pet. He just went, and he just careening by. It's not time to play, Bob. Piss off. Yeah, but just by going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, you can eliminate the dark meat, which is full of laden. It's laden with the PCBs, dioxins, and heavy metals, um, which is not really necessarily an issue for some uh, for a fish this small, as it's only probably only this fish. Probably only a year or two old, but one of the bigger fish, they uh, be three or four years old, and there's a, I mean, a fish. So this is the this is the spiel. A fish is a living filter. Anything that it encounters in its environment, it stores within its fat cells. The uh, the dark meat here is the most densely uh, packed in terms of caloric meat like it has the most um, nutrition but it also contains the most of that type of stuff so you definitely want to uh, to eliminate it if you can which you know I can so like I said I'm gonna be giving all of this away I mean that's kind of it you know the bellies a little more a little more difficult because it um gets real thin so on the next the next piece I'll show you the, the, the way I do it you know like I just did that so you could see but yeah we, we left the uh, the pin bones in at the front so basically you just run down the center like that the whole fillet because that dark meat does run through right and there it is no no dark meat in that shoulder loin and then we will just go ahead and flip this over to get the other side. All right, down like that. We'll connect that to the cuts we made on the top side, like so. And that is kind of it. That's kind of it. That's all dark meat. All right, not much. And a little bit of. Of flesh there like edible flesh so th this way is kind of wasteful because you're, you're blindly sticking your knife into the fish I'll show you the method I prefer a little bit of dark meat messed up here but it's no big deal like I said on a fish this small I have all the uh, the fillets that I have here I'll probably keep this for myself like all the rest I'm gonna give away um, yeah we'll just put that I'll put that right there, I think. Yeah, I don't want to put it on this cutting board because, you know, kind of nasty. Probably kind of nasty. I didn't bother cleaning it. So, oh, uh, there's some bile. That's what you want to eliminate or avoid when you're when you're um, cutting. Wow, real oily one here. Um, so, we're just going to go ahead and cut on the north side of the, uh, the center line. And we'll eliminate the pin bones. With that same that same cut, right? So we got the, the shoulder loin, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the belly loin. Run the knife right down real close to that center line, and then through. All right, and there's that's all the dark meat from uh, the center. Get rid of that bile. Right, that's good, good. And then 
we're going to take and cut this. Um, you know, we're, we're going to be using the knife like, like right about here. So you don't want it longer than the knife is. So we're going to cut this one in thirds like that. And we'll put them aside for a second. And then, again, pieces that aren't, they don't exceed the, uh, the length of the knife as a matter of convenience. So now what we have is we have, well, if we didn't make this the cut down the center, there might be some creeping up on the center part here. So you'd want to cut down until you got to this part. You'd want to cut down the center to lay it out until you saw this meat, the dark meat, laying on the bottom. But being as we don't have that, uh, what we want to do is turn the cutting board firstly. This is less than convenient with the camera in the way, but let's see if we can do it this way. Just stand right behind you. Um, you put the knife on the top side of that, and then once you get the, the cut started, you're going to bear down uh, like so. Alright, so the cut is started. Yeah, it is above that, and then sawing motion on out. That's all. The dark meat, nice and clean. Do that again. Now it does vary the uh, the thickness of that bloodline varies according to what piece you're cutting. So towards the tail, uh, shoulder loin towards the tail, it's thicker. So what I was saying about cutting down. You see it there? We'll cut down until we get to that spot, right? You see that? And then we can lay down and we can push down on that meat that we freed up from the side and that'll give us our depth of cut for uh, the rest of it. And you don't really even have to think about it. The knife will do all the work for you. If the camera's not in your way, it's much easier. That's that, and then again, down until you see it, down until you see it, right? And then utilizing that bit of meat, I should probably steal my knife, it's kind of lagging. That's that, right? This, this method here, by the way, is how I'm going to do all the rest of them. Because it is, uh, it makes the most sense, right? Like that took no time and it wasn't like guesswork. We didn't take too much of the, the flesh off. We did harvest, I did harvest these fish, so I do want to get the most that I can, not waste any. I mean, that right there is no big deal, right? That's no big deal. I could leave that on, but we were taking the time to do it, so. Might as well do it right. That's that. So, when um, yeah, I'm gonna put on the Grateful Dead and have a seat and uh, do this, do the rest of this. So, I'll show you what I have by the end of all this. Maybe also, get all that to do yet. I know I'll time myself too. Probably 25 minutes worth of work right there. Time. What do we do? 26 minutes. I think I said 23, yeah? 25? I forget what I said now, but yeah, that's all, um, that's all the dark meat. That's all skinless, boneless, dark, re dark meat removed. Only needs to be rinsed and frozen. That's, uh, a substantial amount of meat for people to, uh, to enjoy but now this is the part that I'm looking forward to I mean, like I said I won't be keeping you know probably a couple pieces of that 
<clears throat> uh, be, to be clear, I'm going to be having a can of tuna by the time I get done this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this under refrigeration and then work on the the uh, striped bass skin leather. Yeah. In a minute. i got to get cleaned up. Good heavens, I'm still in my work boots. What time is it? It's uh, 4 o'clock, so it's been... Uh, 12 I've been I've been in these boots for more than 12 hours now my rubber boots but yeah I mean this is a labor of love and I've been waiting all whoops been waiting all year for uh, the ability to make some straight bass skin leather yeah which is why I'm taking the time to do all this you know I did harvest it and um, people will appreciate Goyakle red tail going to be getting some of that sister Kim yeah um, Dylan I think Dylan's coming over tomorrow so that should be that should be exciting give him some and uh, yeah I don't know that's a proper amount of funk on my hands eh? anyway I got nothing to drink over here being being born is a terminal illness get the most out of each day people you never know when the last one's gonna come that's about it Go fuck your hat. Good night. Good hockey bye.